Warning. My psychedelic experience was pretty insane. From the sensational feelings throughout my body, to the vivid designs, patterns, and images that I saw, to the deep reflection on various impactful moments throughout my life that helped me understand them in a different way, I was gifted with a new perspective towards my life. I felt I found a new sense of peace, and I can certainly say that this experience had a profound impact on my life for the better. In this video, I'm going to try my best to describe this experience that I went through. Before we start this video, I think it's important to note that me filming this video is not intended to influence you or persuade you to try this yourself, but rather I want to have an opportunity to share some of the um, breakthroughs or simply insights and lessons that I learned from going through this experience. I'm not someone who's really dabbled with any sort of substances. I hardly ever drink and I hadn't touched weed in about a year and a half. However, I've heard how so many successful people have experimented with psychedelics and they've described their experiences as being super profound and impactful in their own lives. And so because I'm always looking to improve myself and push myself out of my comfort zone and try new things that I believe may help me in my growth as a human being, uh, I felt called to give it a go. A gentleman who had experience in taking others through this psychedelic journey was guiding me on mine. This was a very organized and meticulously crafted experience that I was going through. He had me drink a glass of orange juice that had medical grade in it. And after about 20 minutes, it started to kick in. It finally did. And so then I went into a dark room where there was a soft bed. I laid in the bed. He instructed me to put in headphones, put on a blindfold, and then he pressed play on his playlist. And immediately I started seeing these green patterns and designs. And I started to go on this journey filled with beautiful visuals and physical sensations. I was seeing the wildest and most fascinating scenes that I'd ever seen in my life. And it was honestly so beautiful. I remember rubbing my hands on the sheets of the bed I was laying in and feeling the soft fabric rubbing against my skin and it felt fucking amazing. I was in a state of complete serenity and I was feeling my life, which may sound kind of strange and not really make much sense, but that's what I feel is the best way for me to describe it. I felt I was in a state of euphoria that opened up a doorway to universal connectedness and I was in touch with my soul in a way that I'd never been before. I was fucking happy. And all the emotions that we as human beings consider to be negative emotions, such as feeling sad, angry, anxious, stressed, these were all removed from my body and all I felt was pure bliss. But my trip was indeed a journey, for it eventually headed in a direction where I entered a very dark place that felt cold and sad. I've gone through some pretty dark time periods in my life, and a lot of them just so happened to have involved a woman. I began reliving a few of the memories from a few heartbreaks that I'd gone through in the past, and I was feeling the exact same pain in my chest that I had felt back when I was first going through them. I hated this experience, and I wanted it to end, but there was a reason I was being forced to confront this darkness. I had a lot of anger and sadness trapped in my body from these experiences, and while I had done a lot of self-improvement work to help me overcome and live with these challenges, I felt like they were still trapped in my body. And I feel like this psychedelic experience was showing me a way to finally remove that residue from my body so I could fully be clear of it, but then also healed of it. I felt I was given the choice to let go of all the negative feelings towards these experience and rewrite the narrative of the past events that I went through. I chose to let go of the emotions of sadness and anger that I had towards these experiences and instead simply just appreciate the fact that I was even able to go through them and experience them and really just move forward from them for good. To enter into a new state of happiness. We all have our own traumas that we go through in life. And one thing that always troubled me was when I would build a connection with someone that was very intimate and powerful, after a while that would eventually fade away, that connection, and we would drift away, we would go separate directions. And that was always very hard for me to, one, accept, but then two, get over. But what this experience was showing me was that I needed to learn how to have zero sense of attachment to people. Because the reality is, everyone comes and goes from your life. 
I think it's great to connect with people and be open, but we're all on our individual journeys on this planet. And I think it's crucial for me to be able to be comfortable with the idea of being alone and to completely liberate myself from any sort of dependency for another person to be in my life. And while this was something that I'd already known to be true for quite some time, I finally felt it at the highest level possible. Through fully embracing this feeling and accepting this reality, I had conquered the dark room and then quickly started to come back to my normal state. This is when I shared what I'd gone through with my guide and talked about some of the breakthroughs that I just had. He then told me it was time for step two, the phase. I was given a shot in my right shoulder, then boom. I immediately went into fucking God mode. This was a sensation that was greater than anything I'd ever felt before. I felt like my soul was moving throughout the universe at lightning speed, and I was liberated from all my human obligations and worries. I find it pretty hard to describe what I was experiencing, but what I can say is that I instantly no longer feared death. For I understood that when I die, and this time period of me being in this current human body of mine has come to an end, I, just like everyone else, will move forward towards the next step in our soul's journey. For I understand now that there really is a future beyond what I'm currently experiencing. What exactly that looks like, I don't know. I don't know if we die, we're reborn into another human, some sort of animal, we become a tree or we go to heaven, I don't know. But this understanding that life is simply meant to be experienced made me feel very calm and okay with whatever happens during this lifetime. I used to be very afraid of death. I remember being a kid and getting a lot of anxiety and stress over simply just thinking about what happens after you when you die because no one has an answer. But I'm no longer concerned with that now for what I do know is that there is indeed something good after this life. And until then, my focus is to do what I can to feel as alive as humanly possible. And there really is nothing holding any of us back from doing so but ourselves. I spent so many of my years feeling sorry for myself and being angry at the past um, and just having so much anger and sadness that I kept in my life. But as I'm heading in this new chapter in my life and after this experience, I'm realizing that I can choose to be happy. I can choose to embrace all the goodness in the world and not be concerned about the little things that really in the big scheme don't matter to me anymore. I'm choosing to be happier in my life, to not feel depressed when things don't go my way, to not feel heartbroken when someone I care about passes away or leaves me, because those are all just moments that pass by. And life is just one big compilation of moments. There really is no such thing as a good or bad moment. There's just our interpretation of that moment. And through what I consider to be work that I did on myself, I feel like I was able to have a new perspective and understanding on so many of those past experiences. And it has allowed me to kind of have a new state of mind and new perspective towards how I'm going into my future life, my future self. I'm writing a new chapter in my life, and it will consist of me putting adventure and exploration at the forefront of it so that I can create the very best life story that I can possibly tell. To build off of this spark of inspiration, creativity, and excitement for the future that I'm currently feeling. Maybe I'll have a son one day. Maybe I'll have a daughter. They'll be able to watch these videos that I create to get to know the real me. My fears, my struggles, my discoveries. The unfiltered true story of a man named Ken Conklin and the documentation of him striving to improve himself into the best version of himself through a process he calls Gravel to Castle.